After the horrors of the detention camp, the interrogation wing can't be any worse. Right? Right? Let's find out. We should have every everything we need for this uh for this checkpoint now. As long as Keitner's not lying to us. I wouldn't put it past her. I don't know if I trust her. I can see that we're helpful to her for the minute. But what happens when she no longer needs our help? Then we're disposable. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, there we are. Done. Right. What are we looking at here? Any security? Not that I see. Oh, is that an interrogation room? Oh, man. Oh, they really don't like reverb, do they? Someone in there. One in that one. Alright, there's some doors here too. Let's go see what's in these. Interrogation room, I guess. Post interview log. Patient has been returned to detention area after sedation. The medical history gathered indicates that she's a prime candidate for inclusion. Similarly, all biological indicators fall within the required parameters. Recommend preparation for stage one therapy prior to. Gary, have you seen this? Have you seen what's on this smart disk? He's gone mad. Tiffany, slow down. What are you talking about? Where'd you get that? I found it in the last shipment of materials we received. One of the boxes had been tampered with, blatantly. Someone was sending this to me, to us, to warn us about Commander Burke. Uh, that sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? I know the two of you have butted heads, but Bob's assured me that the Commander is with us on this. Really? So, Mr. Page is okay with us using unwilling human test subjects, is he? What's his opinion on Bell Tower using the OCM to further their military aspirations? Ask him about this Hydra project. Tiffany, calm down. I know all about the Hydra project. It's nothing nefarious. It's simply a means of allowing soldiers to communicate more efficiently when in the field. You've seen Burke's augmentation. It has nothing to do with the OCM. So, you think his obsession with this technology is because he's an environmentalist? Gary, I know this bothers you too. Those poor women. We can't keep doing this. We can't just rush blindly ahead and let men like Burke pull our strings. Science has made that mistake before. I know. All right. All right. Let's go down below and contact Bob. We'll see what he has to say about this. I know he's intrigued by the nanotech possibilities. Certainly, he's disappointed with the results we've had. Mr. Page? Bob? Bob Page? So what is it about some of these women's medical histories that makes them candidates for whatever they're doing here? And why women? Check there's no one in this one first. Someone is, uh, someone is trying to let them know that Burke is up to no good. 
I wonder who that is. Do you think it's Kite now, or do you think there's someone else involved? Morg, archives, storage rooms, examination rooms. Okay. I think those examination rooms were what we could see from above. Jeez, man. You can't keep me caged up here like some animal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stay quiet. I promise. Just don't hurt me anymore. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please. You've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. What the hell is going on here? I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. Some of the others think we let them go, but I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I, I'm not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. Where did they get sent to? Did they get sent to the ranch? Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The oh. They treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. It's Kavanaugh, the uh, Australian we heard in the, um, in the audio log. It's okay. What's your name? I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town is dangerous, but I thought with all the security around. Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? Poor boy. And I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall and I wanted to have an adventure. Well, you sure got one. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? The man said he was a freedom fighter, not a terrorist. Are the men being pulled in here semi-legitimately and the women are just being pulled in here? I don't know, what, what kind of a gene match are they looking for here? Right, we did ask all these. I know this is going to seem cruel, but... I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. 
You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet. We're walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. Killer. And then what? Killer. Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please. Don't go. Jensen. I don't have a choice here, mate. Kill her as she tells everyone. Can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. Getting soft. Nina Sullivan. I see one. Oh, I see one means white then, I guess. Picked up. South Africa. Low risk. Born 2007. Student. Canadian. No visible augmentation work. Why was she pulled off the street? Medical history interview reveals no counter indi indications. Uh, descended from uh, Ireland, Irish genes. No pre-existing condition, no augmentations. A negative. Genetic markers, well within acceptable values. Previously fractured ulna, That's her arm, likely seven to ten years. The forearm suggest continuing protocol. Oh boy! Oh Nina! Oh mate, I'll um. Oh jeez! I know you do, mate. I know you do. Ah oh, jeez. Well, she said that Kavanaugh and uh, Burke and, and another man had gone to the morgue, right? So that must be Kavanaugh, the Australian. Uh, you know, Nina claims that she's not like the others. She's somewhat innocent, but, you know, given where she comes from, she's obviously, she's obviously a criminal. Uh, so they have gone to the morgue. We'll, we'll go and see if we can find them, I guess. What do we have here? Another log. Okay, let's see what this one says. Clinical trial log one one slash two seven. Attending, Dr. Tiffany Kavanagh. Tiffany. Gary Savage. Gary Savage. Observing Commander Peter Burke. Patient has been sedated and restrained. Administering compound P dash zero two six one point seven five cc's. Injection via the left suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Placing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, Doctor. Get the results that I can use. Gary? Gary, she's waking up. Look at the alpha waves. They're attenuating. Blood pressure and heart rate are rising. O2 saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready. See if she stabilizes. It's not working, Gary. Damn it. There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery. Shit, shit. I've got to get in there. It's already too late, Tiffany. You know that. Is it still alive? It. She burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, the new compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh. Last him. Jeez. Bark does not give a shit about these uh, women. Tiffany. 
Kavanaugh. Gary Savage. Gary Savage is involved in this. Right, this is uh, from Gary. Tiff, I've transferred most of the clinical patient information out of the Bell Tower workstation. I don't like Bell Tower having easy access to our data, and I don't think Paige, Paige, man, fuck. I don't think Paige would like it either. It looks like your paranoia about Burke is rubbing off on me. You may want to have a look. We gotta find that Bell Tower workstation. Oh boy. Don't worry, Nina. Well, I'll be back for you, mate. I'll be back. Track darts. Oh boy. Is it A negative? Was that Nina's blood type? A negative? This is all A. I know you do, mate. I know you do. Louise Auger, I see three from the UK prostitute. Born in France, no visible augmentation work, no counter indi indications. Descent, uh. What is that? Africa, France? No pre existing conditions, blood type AB. Previously undisclosed augmentations. Social, sexual in nature. Uh, she's had a hyperdose of neuropazine. Had her existing augmentations removed. Transferred to the lab to have her upper column uh, occipital, that means to do with the eye, I believe. Had that replaced. Massive rupture of cerebral arteries. Terminated. Right, so that's who they were talking about in the log. Louise Auger. Leanne, but we heard about her. Uh, I see five. She's from China. I guess she's Asian. Uncooperative subject. Uh, descent. Chinese, US. I don't really know what that means. Blood type A negative. Uh, okay, implanted metal titanium graft in the occipital bone. Possible enlarged left artery. Suitable for continuance. The Jeanette Project, holy crap. Is she involved in this? Tr so she's unacceptable for whatever Burke's doing, but she's been transferred to Reed's lab? Reed has a lab?
She doesn't look alive. Jane Doe. Another IC5 from China. So another Asian, I would guess. Possible social augmentations. Uncooperative. Presence of social enhancements complicate results. Cranial augmentations confirmed. Transferred to Kavanaugh's lab. Get the augmentations taken out. Lifespan TBD. Transfer to Ayers. Who's Ayers? L. Gallagher. I see one. Australian. Connected to the uh, the FSA were the uh, left wing Australian party, I believe. Laura Gallagher from Sydney. Former SAF parliamentarian, wow. Reportedly kidnapped by the SFA, FSA. Secured and raid on FSA camp. Ah, uh, right, no counter indications. Australian, Caucasian, O negative. Administered hyperdose of neuropazine for whatever reason. Transferred to Kavanaugh or the eye region to be replaced for whatever reason. Oh wait. Wait, didn't uh, Anna and Gunther have, didn't they have uh, eye augmentations? Didn't they have like uh, metal implants in the eye region? Transferred to Burke, failure and then terminated. So that's well that's her there, isn't it? With a sheet over her, I guess. Oh boy, this is grim. Wang Yun, Chinese possible criminal organization. Expected harvester runner. Confirmed augmentations, quite a few. Arm, ear, legs. Possible delusional machine god. What does that mean? Problematic biopsy. Extensive augmentation work. And she was terminated. Returned to T. S. Hung Tong. Oh boy. There's the morgue. Right, that's got to be our workstation, right? That's what they were talking about. We'll hopefully find some information on Burke here. Beer, no wonder they're all drinking beer, man. You really... You're going to need some kind of alcohol to get through this. Another data storage device, okay. Okay, Hugh Darrow or not. We read this one.
No more tears. Oh, jeez, man. Right. Where's our boxes? One there. How do we do this? Uh, if we want that box, we have to go three, three, four. Uh, it's not good odds, is it? But let's do it. Let's do it. We got it. Plenty of time. Access granted. Okay, this is to Gary Savage. Actually, Gary wrote, uh, he's ordering some medical supplies. Hematology kit. I don't know, something to do with blood. Epidermic needles, 25 gauge. That's... 25 gauge. Quite thin, isn't it? 25 gauge. They're probably not drawing blood with 25 gauge. Need a much bigger gauge to draw blood, I think. Probably injecting. This is probably for injecting the neuropazine. 100cc syringes. 8 cranial rongers. Decompression retractors. A lot of gloves, man. A lot of gloves. Pneumatic microsurgery drill. Jeez. Got it, Gary. I've passed it on. To the depot, it's been processed. Delivery will arrive by usual means in 24 hours from Eric. Nice leaf. Versa life. Okay, from Bark. Savage, the next shipment of subjects is due to arrive. Storm or no storm, I will send some men to help you transfer the non viable survivors back to their holding cells, mate. There, they'll be repotted and sent onto Omega Ranch, where hopefully they will be more useful. Fuck. Omega Ranch. Omega is uh, last, isn't it? Omega is like the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega Ranch is like the last point in the destination. The morgue should be cleared of all bodies. As usual, disposal and transport to Hengshaw has been arranged. Despite yours and Dr. Kavanagh's confidence, I expect we will need the room. Ah, they're expecting more bodies. Also, I require an update on loading bay 3. Progress seems slow. It's been a week since the hardware was installed. It still sits there empty. What is the hold up? Yeah, why can't we get into loading bay 3? It is of primary importance that a working version of the Hydra be implemented at this base. I do not understand your squeamishness, Doctor, and I will not stand for it. Get one of them in there and get it done. Burke. Hydra. Savage wrote to Burke. All tests completed on the IC5, the Asian Jane Doe. Uh, neurotransmitter levels normal, astrocytogenesis minimal, I'm not sure where that is, EEG activity normal, I believe that's brain waves. All other baseline results are well within preclusion threshold levels, genetic markers we identified seem to confirm our results. There's no telling how the interface will react under load but it seems promising. I'm still reluctant but this may be the subject needed for your plan for wireless Hydra functionality and direct connection to the defense unit in loading bay 3. Wow, okay so this is like the people, they talked about uh, communication between soldiers. Does the Hydra let you uh, remotely control something? This is good news, says Burke. Remit the candidate to the morgue. I will be down shortly to complete the transfer. Have Dr. Kavanagh prepare for full implantation. Why? Why has she been moved to the morgue? She's still alive and is a good candidate. 
Right, Savage wrote uh, to Tiffany, I'm about to send the supply requisition to VersaLife for the next series of tests. Burke has already put us on notice that the ships will be docking as soon as the storm breaks so things will get busy in here. Also, I'll be leaving the base for a few days so you have to handle the preliminary test. Bob, Bob Page, wants to meet face to face about our progress. He's also bringing Mr. Everett, probably one of his backers. Fingers crossed that I can convince them to look into Nano, or at least get a look at the Jeanette research. I can't shake the feeling that we're spinning our wheels here. Try not to butt heads with Burke until I get back. So Jeanette is working with these people. Unless it's Jeanette's old research. Thanks Gary. I think I'm covered down here, mate. If we miss any incidentals, we can always make do. Besides, Eric always delivers within a day. We can place another order. He did, didn't he? You've got to convince Mr. Page. I know what we're doing here is getting to you. I know that the possible advances are incredible, but the cost is too much. I feel sick about what we're doing to these people. As for Burke, Better stay out of my bloody way. T. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's the thing about Australians, man. They sure know how to hold a grudge. Okay. To the morgue, I guess. The morgue. God bloody well knows what we're going to find in there. God knows. Is Tiff still here? Gary here? Is Burke here? So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need Why? to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Oh boy, an office romance. Keitner, I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. It's lucky. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Kitener out. Yeah, that's convenient. The Burke's office. The Burke's office get his eyes. We're already in Burke's office. We didn't find them there. No, there's no eyes here. OK. 
Gary Savage, Tiffany Kavanagh. The Intelligence Circuit. Ah, by Hugh Darrow. We get carried away with the idea of bolting robot arms and legs to our fleshy torsos, but I firmly believe that the real core of what we can innovate lies within our meat, more specifically in our brains. Deep brain implants are the way in which the human machine can truly be supercharged. Consider our grey matter. Our neural DNA has been imprinted with a mammoth amount of information, allow us to parallel process huge and complex data sets in quick order, but for all that, our wet memory is patchy and sporadic. We lack the ability to communicate data in complete fashion. Very, very true. This is this is the big difference between uh, subconscious and um, conscious um, memory, uh, subconscious processing and conscious processing. Um, we sub subconscious processing is oh man, it's unreal. It's unreal how much data we can we can take in and process. Absolutely unreal. Um, we just where where is conscious processing is uh, laser focus. We can we can only really concentrate on one thing one thing at a time. Um, whereas unconscious memory has uh, we can process it all in parallel. Um, through the use of cognitive enhancement implants providing nootropic stimuli, we are capable of creating a new level of neural synchrony that can effectively boost brain capacity and via wireless data parsing subsystems, a form of radio telepathy. A real and viable concept, faster brains processing more data, reacting quicker, capable of streaming that data in real time to other similarly accelerated post-humans this is the real frontier. Now that's that's this Hydra thing, isn't it? This is all about. Uh, yeah, we lack the ability to communicate data in complete fashion. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how how if we're working a team on a project. It doesn't matter how quick one person is. That person has to be able to transmit their findings on to someone else. So what they're suggesting here is that. It's sort of being able to transfer unconscious memory to another human being. Wow. So so you would you would you could transfer data between people, transfer memories between people. Oh, where do you draw the line with that? What if you if I had if I had the memories of another person transferred to my mind, well, what does it mean to be human? I, I I I, you know, I think of I think of myself as a continuous being from you know from the moment I was born until now. I have a complete I have a complete record of my life stored in my mind, uh, all my memories and experiences. Now, obviously, I don't remember everything you know we do we do sleep and you know I have been drunk I have gotten blackout drunk before and uh, I do also suffer from epilepsy as well so I have I have moments of time where I'm not conscious but uh, other than that what makes me me is is that unbroken timeline that whole that whole stretch of memories from my whole my childhood um, through school through university through my jobs through my um, friends family that's what makes me me are they, are they are they suggesting we might one day be able to get to the place where all that information could be transferred to someone else so that they could understand what they could know what I know they could have my memories they could see life from my perspective that's fascinating man that that's I mean that's that's what this sort of suggests about uh empathy right we'd all we'd all you know we'd all get along as better people if we could see if we could see life through someone else's eyes 
you know, there's that common phrase, you know, look, mate, if I'd been through what you'd been through and had the life you'd had, I would have made the exact same decisions that you'd made. So that's, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's fascinating, isn't it? The, you know, the fact that we, we could, we could improve our understanding of other people. But then, if someone else had my memories, would they be me? They knew what I knew and had been through what I'd done. Are they now me? Would they act like me? I don't know. I don't know, man. Wow, that's a... That's one hell of a mindfuck. Alright. Well, I guess we got to get up to... We got to get back up to Burke's office, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go find his eyes. And... I think Gary, Mr. Savage, has broken the most important rule of the workplace. Do not have office romances. Or as I like to say, don't shit where you eat.